The question that is often asked about Rebel Galaxy Outlaw is where it sits on the spectrum of space pilot simulators. At one end you have Elite Dangerous, which is like Euro Truck Simulator in space. You have full manual control of your ship, you pick up your cargo, make the often long haul journey to your destination while stopping for fuel on the way, adhere to the flight regulations of whatever star system you find yourself in, and expand your cargo business. Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, on the other hand, is like a trucking reality TV show. You engage in banter with spacefaring passers-by, perch on the edge of your seat as you dodge asteroid belts to answer distress beacons that might turn into ambushes. Absolutely rinse pathetic amateurs at eight ball and threaten to kick the shit out of your clients. You know whose ass I'm gonna kick. This is a game where docking sequences are left to cutscenes because real space truckers are too busy thinking about the ruckus they'll cause post-docking, not whether they can do the dock itself. Compared to Elite, Space Western Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, a prequel to Rebel Galaxy, is more bombastic, gritty and crass. The core of the game, where you engage in the interstellar market, hire yourself out as a combat pilot, hunt dangerous people with big bounties, and pirate some pricey goods from unsuspecting traders, is classic space flight simulator stuff. But the way it presents this package to you is as if Double Damage Games were pitching it to the History Channel. I love it to bits, and I think you will too, and to explain why, let's talk about everything that makes Rebel Galaxy Outlaw feel like intergalactic ice road truckers. But first, thanks to Logitech G and the G432 7.1 surround sound gaming headset for sponsoring this video. To check out the tech behind the G432, click the link in the description. Domestic life is on hold for a while. My husband is... Brace is dead, and I'm in the shit. Perhaps the most reality TV trucker feature of Rebel Galaxy Outlaw is main protagonist Juno Markev. Juno is out of retirement after the murder of her husband, and a nasty run-in with the killer has left her with a scrap heap reject for a ship and a lot of work to do in order to continue pursuing him. That particular line of work, smuggling contraband across the stars, is one that she's had a lot of experience with in the past, and it shows in how she holds herself. She takes no sh has a silver tongue with which she spits slick banter at anyone she comes across and clearly knows what she's doing because she gets the job done. She does all of this with a somewhat laid-back demeanour. Craft inbound. Listen, T-78. A bit like the drivers in Ice Road Truckers, really. Juno has seen a lot of stuff in her time as a pilot, so danger constantly creeping around the corner, often jumping out right into your face, is just part of the job. Similarly, when you spend every day of your career trundling a colossal 100 ton lorry across melting ice that could break beneath you at any second, or across roads that you'd consider narrow if you were in a Mini Cooper, you'd probably be really chill about the whole thing too. See Lisa as she very calmly informs the camera crew in Season 9 Episode 4 of Ice Road Truckers that the ice of a well-worn road is slushy and might collapse, and steers her truck with one hand while dangling halfway out the door in case she needs to jump out, like it's nothing at all! She says she's nervous, but if anything she just acts as if she feels mildly annoyed about the whole thing. One of the best bits about Ice Road Truckers is radio talk between truck drivers. Gino delivers on that front too, and whenever there are other spacecraft nearby, you can reach out to them via your comm system. Passing by a merchant? Ask them how business is going. Getting extorted by a group of marauders? Talk them down to defuse the situation. Absolutely wrecking a sorry excuse for a pirate in a dogfight? Taunt them with insults as you blast them away. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Much like Ice Road Truckers, these communications are short, sweet, and to the point. After all, in the words of Ron Porkchop Magnum, It's used for professional courtesy. Combat in Rebel Galaxy Outlaw can, if you so choose, lean a lot more heavily on the arcadey side of the spectrum. You have a target auto-tracker that locks you in pursuit of enemy ships that boils combat down to brilliant cat-and-mouse encounters, it's entirely optional, so you can opt to spin wildly in space trying to track radar blips, but it's designed to give you immediate dogfights on tap, which is basically like having an Ice Road Truckers film editor snip out the boring scenes. But as thrilling as a successful fight is, it's when combat and everything else goes wrong that really captures the trucker vibe. After detouring from my delivery destination to answer a distress beacon, I found myself stuck in the middle of a pirate ambush. I barely managed to hold together my ship through the combat, taking the pirates down but suffering a lot of damage as a result. My boosters puttered along at a snail's pace, wrecked a bit in the dogfight. 
If I wanted to get anywhere without having to use sublight speed constantly, I needed to do something about it. It was a risky move, but diverting all my power from shields and weapons to the engines gave me a bit of a boost. I'd have to cross my fingers that I didn't run into any more pirates, because if I did, I'd be screwed. Speeding away, my shields down and my lasers useless, every screen, button, light and vent in my cockpit sparking away and glitching out, reminded me of some of the slapdash solutions the truckers on Ice Road Truckers were able to come up with in order to get themselves out of sticky situations. One time, Todd got stuck in a ditch and had to use some straps tied to the back of his truck trailer, anchored onto a tree and wrapped around one of the front wheels as a winch to rip the trailer out of the ditch and back onto the road. As he said when explaining the plan, yeah, I don't know if it's going to work or not, I don't know if the straps are strong enough, but I really don't have a choice. I got no, I got no other options in hand here. I didn't have any options on hand either. I didn't have a repair droid they'd set me back 20,000 credits that I didn't have, and the nearest station was well a ways away. So I had to give it a go. Like Todd's elaborate winching plan, it somehow worked, but I felt a little prang of uncertainty throughout the whole ordeal. This MacGyvering solutions to the problems you encounter out in the far reaches of space captures that same reality TV trucking problem perfectly. Elite Dangerous lets you listen to audiobooks of some of the game's lore as you boldly go where many have gone before. Euro Truck Simulator gives you the option of adding custom tracks to a file directory to listen to on your in-game radio. Rebel Galaxy Outlaw? As you hop between rickety mining stations with tons of illegal cargo in your truck, your ears will be graced by the crunchy riffs, wah-wah slides and vocal fry of some of the best fully licensed country rock around, perfectly complementing your Space Age redneck hijinks. Moodier, atmospheric country tunes will chill you out of those stations you'll be hopping between too. I don't go out of my way to listen to country music. When it's on though, I don't mind at all, even less so when it serves as an appropriate soundtrack. The quieter moments, with slower songs when you're prizing information out of a crusty bartender or idly browsing all of the ship components that you're too poor to buy, feel like they've been ripped right out of those moments in trucking shows where the driver goes over the area they're in and explains their process, and the harsher, pumpier tracks that accompany your long-haul flights feel fittingly similar to the transitional montages between points where the History Channel have been able to get a nice dramatic moment on camera. That intensity ramps up even more when you enter combat. Rebel Galaxy Outlaws equivalent of that bit in Season 9 Episode 3 of Ice Road Truckers where Todd's driving over a well-worn ice road carrying a crane and another truck is coming towards him, the combined weight posing the risk of shattering ice and both trucks plunging into the sub-zero depths below. Unbelievable. What happened to the clock in the road? Among the country tunes, you'll also catch the occasional advert for a beer brand, trader or fast food outlet. They're trashy as hell, and if physically manifested, they'd be spelling out the word satire in the same way the village people spell out YMCA. You don't hear the ice road truckers listening to the radio a lot, even less so when it comes to radio adverts. But that trashy hilarity of the ads in Rebel Galaxy Outlaw gives off the same trashy, hilarious energy of reality TV trucking. I love Ice Road Truckers, but like every other reality TV show under the sun, a lot of it is kind of garbage. That doesn't impact my adoration for it though. If anything, it endears me, like a seven-year-old fresh out of the dentist and on a cocktail of drugs, crying about the futility of existence. Despite a bit of a grind for the first few hours, I've very suddenly fallen head over heels for Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. It's clunky at times and it suffers from a few pacing issues, but it's grimy, balls-to-the-wall desperado take on the space simulation genre really has its hooks in me. It's gotten me really obsessed with Ice Road Truckers again, a crime for which even the most lenient of intergalactic courts would never forgive, but I can forgive them for it, because it's done so by infusing an atmosphere into its world that's never really been present in games like it or otherwise, and for that, I'll give this Rootin' Tootin' space opera a standing ovation. Thanks again to Logitech G for sponsoring this video, featuring 50mm audio drivers, a 6mm mic and DTS Headphone X 2.0 surround sound technology under the hood. The G432 headset immerses you in the action and ensures you'll always be heard for a complete gaming experience. 
Find out how to order yours by following the link in the description. Have you given Rebel Galaxy Outlaw a go yet? If so, let us know what you think in the comments. Did you like my weird little video essay on how it's like I throw truckers in space? If you haven't already, you could give it a like and subscribe to Rock Paper Shotgun if you fancy seeing more stuff like this. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you again soon.